Joined now by Coach Bohannon. And Coach, no matter what level of baseball, no matter how many years you've been in the game, I'm sure this is always one of your favorite weeks in the year, getting ready for opening day. How's it going? Hey, if you're not excited about opening day, you need to play another sport or do something else. Now, I think you throw in uh, last year's situation and, and, you know, how much, you know, we really like our kids and our team and just makes it um, – I'm a little extra anxious, to be quite honest. Uh, really, really excited, and Friday just can't get here soon enough. What have you learned about your team since all the players returned back from the holiday break and started gearing up for the season? Well, the kids trained really well at home. You know, they went home before Thanksgiving, so it was an extra two weeks from Thanksgiving to when they returned. And the second week of January is the longest period of time that um, we've ever had, you know, in the – the middle break and the kids trained really well. They came back in great shape and um, we were able to, to hit the ground running. So just really proud of uh, the makeup of our club. I think it says a lot about their intangibles. We have a lot of kids that are, you know, serious about baseball and, and really determined to win. And you really have some outstanding athletes on this team. Uh, you talked before about the great defense that you feel like this team is bringing, the hitting, the pitching. Is really everything starting to come together for this program? Well, I really like where the roster is right now. We've got some some length to our pitching staff. We've got some athleticism and, you know, nice balance. So, you know, we're in a good place. Uh, we're, we're a young group. We've got 11 guys that have played in an SEC game before in a year. In college baseball, there's going to be 22 and 23-year-olds, you know, all around the country. So, uh, but we've got a good roster. We've got a lot of good players and, and really happy with where we're at right now. But we need to continue to get better. Really all starts on the mound. What can you tell us about your pitching staff heading into the first weekend? Really excited to see Connor Prelip on Friday. Um, you know, had an amazing freshman year, all, you know, with it just being four weeks, but he's made some really nice strides in the past 12 months. So, you know, really expect that he'll get us off to a great start. Uh, Chase Lee and Brock Guffey are going to be two guys that have experience and that we're going to use in high leverage situations out of the pen. Then after that, we got about eight or nine guys that I'm really anxious to see in extended outings. And Antoine Jean is going to start on Saturday, and Dylan Smith is going to start on Sunday. But uh, don't look into that too much. We've got six or seven guys on their heels that have pitched every bit as good as those guys have that will, you know, come in and throw 50 or 60 pitches. And hopefully by the time we get to league play, a couple of those guys will separate themselves and establish themselves as Saturday and Sunday starters. Then looking at your position players, just how many options do you have when you're sitting down to fill out the lineup card? How many options are on this roster for you right now? Well, I, I think you've got five or six guys that have separated themselves that are everyday players and, and very good players. And then in those last uh, three or four spots in the lineup, there's, you know, seven or eight guys that I'm really, really want to give, you know, multiple opportunity to and kind of see how it shakes out. And some of that will be based on matchups. So, um, you know, in my mind, we've kind of got 12 starters and maybe we'll go through the season that way. Maybe it ends up being, you know, 13 or 14, or maybe we whittle it down to, you know, a true nine. And that's uh, kind of the beauty of having a 56 game schedule. There's a lot of opportunity for everyone. 56 game schedule, but it starts with three games this weekend at the Joe against McNeese State. Just what can you tell us about the Crimson Tide opponent coming in here at Tuscaloosa? Well, it's an older team that's very left-handed. You know, they got off to a really good start last year. In the short season, they had wins over Missouri and Southern Miss. Uh, I believe four of their five uh, top hitters are left-handed hitters. Um, so it's an experienced group, and it'll be a really good challenge right out of the gate, a, a team that uh, is predicted to win their league, and we're going to need to play well. Coach, thank you for joining us. Have a great opening weekend. Roll Tide. And roll Tide, Roger. That was Coach Brad Bohannon. We'll be back with more Tide TV this week coming up next.